is going on, my family, my YouTube family? This is your African boy on the hustle, man. This is Emmanuel right here, baby. I'm sleeping in my truck. I'm making the money. I am so, so happy, guys. I never, never experienced anything like this in my life. You know, I've been doing a nine to five job on top of that. I get to do, man, everything was just like right in the same circle, man. I was getting so tired of it, you know. And my wife and I talked about this box trucking thing. And I jumped into it, man, I'm loving it, you know. Even though <laughs> this thing is super bouncy, man, like boom, 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 all day long, but that's money right there, all right? So I just delivered my law from South Carolina because I got this law from South Carolina to Chicago, Lexington, South Carolina to Chicago, and I was like an hour away from Chicago, and I stopped in a the truck stop just to kind of relax a little I opened my phone I got another loan from Chicago Airport and this loan is going to go in 17 miles away guys paying $500 so in the meantime I had like the loan from South Carolina because I have more room so, I pick up that load, and I drop it off this morning, 2 a.m., because those fuck with people, man, they, they are 24 hours service anyway. Use the second from the right lane to take exit 7 for I-355 South toward Joliet. Okay, gotcha. So, it took forever. I got that around 8.45 p.m., but they gave me the load somewhere around 1.30 in the morning. Can you believe it? So I dropped off that load 2 o'clock in the morning. And I drove down Walmart parking lot. And I kind of put my privacy stuff. And I, I passed out a little bit. So this morning, I just, just done delivering that load from South Carolina. And I got another load picking up. 45 miles from my drop off. I'm going to pick it up now and I'm only 30 miles away. And that law is going to Minnesota. It paid $950. So I don't know yet how far is it because I haven't punched the address in my GPS yet. But I will let you guys know as soon as I pick up that law. And I will screenshot that $950 so you guys see it. That's the only thing. I cannot really screenshot the entire paperwork because customer information on it, shipper and receiver information, so we got to keep that private. But if you want to do this bar truck thing, oh my God, I guarantee you 100% you will not regret it. I'm not, I'm not joking. All right? I'm not here sleeping. Right, use the second from the right lane to take exit 7 for I-355 South toward Joliet. Come on, baby. I understand that. You already said that before. So, you know, we got to keep those information private, all right? Otherwise, we get in trouble with the brokers. But like I said, it's 100%. I guarantee you that. Try to get the right lane to take exit 7. All right. So, things like that. And it's very, very, very fun. I'm not gonna be out here sleeping in my truck. Leave my family home for two weeks now. It's been two weeks since I've been out here, man. But you know what? I slept in a hotel just three nights out of that two weeks. Mile, keep left. Follow signs for I-355 right. South, Joliet. So think about that. I am doing that for a good reason. All right? So if y'all want to do this bad trucking thing, take it from me, man. You don't have to go find any registered agent. I register my own LLC right from my computer in my living room. All right? Everything I did it myself. You don't need anybody. All you need is 
All you need is an I-355 South for three miles. You need your computer, get some cash. LNC is cheap. In my state, North Carolina, it's like $125. You know, $125. I don't know about all the state, all right? And that's it to get you started. You got that? Then you go apply for your, you know, employee identification number. That's the IRS website. It's free. When you're done with that, go get your bank account, business bank account. You got to be business bank account. You gotta separate that from your personal bank account. You gotta get to business bank account, alrighty? So, after that, man, you are getting your TOT, MC, whatever, you are ready to hit the road. The only, the only major expense to start this thing is the truck. If you got a good credit that allows you to get those nice car, stop getting those nice car. I got my Honda Accord, it's been like, one more month now, I've been touching. You don't need it. Keep that credit, go sign up for the box truck, man, and make that money. You know, as we speak right now, I am like almost $12,000. If you want to believe it, believe it, all right? <laughs> I see no reason telling you that. But my goal is be able to help Miles, take exit 27 for Illinois 64 North Avenue. My goal is to be able to help people to get on their feet, to take care of their family, because I always been thinking about it. I always been worrying about paying bills and, 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 and every day, man, like, oh, this one's you. I got tired of it. You know, so I want you to to, to do the same thing. So there's no reason I should. You know, lie to you about something. If there's no money out here, I won't be out here. All right? So if you got a credit to go get a, a truck, go get a truck. I won't recommend that renting thing, man. People talk about, oh, why you don't rent? Why would I rent if I have credit to take, uh, you know, a loan? So keep your credit good. Take the loan. <laughs> that truck... In less than three months, you get that money. I'm telling you. In less than three months, you already make that money for the truck. Because can you imagine if you're renting from Penske, which I never did before, but people who are renting, I think it's not a smart decision, man. Because every week you get to pay like 2000 plus dollars to those companies for a truck that they already paid for like a decade ago. No, man. That's not a smart decision right there. So I'm going to pick up this load that go into Minnesota. When I get there, I will I will inform Hi, you guys. Take exit 27 for Illinois 64 North Avenue. I wish I have something that I could hold my phone because I actually started. This is like my first, so I don't even have anything to like hold my phone in order to to make a good video so you guys can see the outside view. 27 and keep right at the fork. You know, I want to be able to put the phone a little bit far away from me so that, you know, you guys can see not just me, but at least traffic and stuff like that. But I'm working on it, all right? So you guys hang in there. So I get back to you guys as soon as I pick up the low, guys. All right, guys, I just picked up the low. Uh, it's going to Minnesota. It's only five hours away from here which is 380 miles total drive. So that thing is paying $950, man. It's crazy. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. This is the low right there. As you guys see, I strap it up pretty good. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to strap a low, keep it secure and all that cool stuff in the future. Uh, when I go home, I need to get me some of my um, equipment for camera and all that stuff like that. So I could be able to shoot a better video to show you guys step by step how to keep your load secure. Uh, this right here is six pallets. All right, it's a double pallet, but in like two pallets in one, so it's considered six. But it's all together twelve, but it says six. So I'm gonna show you guys how to strap pretty good and all that. So I got a couple straps here, but I only need two for that. 
and I strapped the pallet jack so the pallet jack is gonna hold in the the, the pallet in place is not moving all right so yeah man it's time to it's time to hit the road and I'm about to shut my uh, my door a little quick so I'm gonna shut my door and then I'll be out of here man yes sir all right guys I'm on my way to Minnesota I will be there let's say 4 30 p.m. if I don't stop but I'm gonna stop so I'm pretty sure this load going to be delivered for tomorrow because there's no way I'm, it's a five hours and change drive and I'm hungry uh, I woke up this morning I have to go unload the stuff coming from uh, South Carolina to Chicago and after that I got this load I have to pick up this load like right away this load is due for deliver tomorrow morning anyway so but I'm gonna get that tonight and kind of like get enough sleep because I didn't really sleep last night. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't even have a good sleep last night because I, I, I was in Walmart parking lot somewhere around three something in the morning, and and I have to wake up like what six o'clock to um, get myself ready and be on the site to deliver the load from South Carolina. So, so yeah. I'm taking this bad boy to Minnesota. This law is actually for T-Mobile. There's a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know what is that, but I don't want to know what is in there. I mean, I just say T-Mobile. That's the only thing. I'm, I'm not giving you guys the address or anything. I just say T-Mobile because T-Mobile is a, like, you know, big company that you all, everyone knows anyway. So, so it's for T-Mobile. In Minnesota, so I'm getting nine hundred fifty dollars for for dropping it. It's a three hundred eighty miles total, three hundred eighty and change, five hours and change drive. So you know, yeah. So that's how that's 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 how the whole shipping thing go. You you. I mean, I know I'm a rookie right now. I still got a lot to learn, but I don't. I, I don't recall any mistake that I I I I have been into yet. Everything just working out like I've been on the job for I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know. Maybe I did so much research for a long, long time before I even got into this business. But even that you still get to do some mistake. But the only thing though, the only thing that I have to let you guys know is that when I went to pick up the load from Atlanta, Georgia, this company, they sell like kitchen cabinet and stuff like this, a big warehouse. So the forklift guy was being so lazy, man. And I have a video on that actually. So just for talking left, right, I forgot to, I forgot my pallet jack. I forgot my pallet jack and I went to Columbus, South Carolina and the good thing was, you know, when I got the load from Lexington, South Carolina, I decided to drove by to Atlanta to get my pallet jack. That's the only mistake that I did so far, you know. Besides that, everything is going smooth. So I'll let you guys know as soon as I drop off that load in uh, Minnesota. Like I said, if you guys want to jump into this business, once you started driving this bus truck, a few days man it turned out to be like a regular car all you got to do is just keep your wide turn wide turn you need more room to take a turn man more room in order to to to, to get in front of another vehicle or whatever man but you're gonna figure it out all right so stay tuned man i'll see you guys in the next video